Hi Aries, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you for the upcoming week. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. So let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's see what predictions are coming in for you for the week ahead. Okay, this week I feel like the attention and the focus should really be on, um, it should be inwards, okay, uh, on your emotional well-being in particular. I feel like you are great or you have been great, especially recently taking care of others, but now's the time to really focus and take care of you, okay, because in the process I feel like some of you might have become a little bit emotionally drained whether this is the result of a really exhausting relationship, friendship, a lot of, you know, you might have been taking and doing a lot and taking on too much uh, at work. But to me, this card suggests that you are, you know, you're feeling a little bit emotionally drained. Um, and you've been so busy supporting other people, but not necessarily yourself. So I feel like right now, and this week in particular, see if you can do something for yourself, okay? See if you can, you know, you've provided and you've nurtured and you um, and you care for a lot of people. But I feel like the self-care and the attention should really turn inwards. And some of you, you could be in a relationship, you may have a career going, you could be balancing all sorts of things, but you still need to remember that you sustain your own lifestyle okay now and in the future and that you look after you know um you you take care of yourself if you need to and this week i feel like there's going to be a need for that so it's nurturing yourself on a very personal level on a very emotional level whatever that means for you it's generally just giving yourself more time more love more attention okay tend to yourself you you are and you have been tending to the needs of others, but you need to first take care of yourself, right? Um, the focus is the focus is definitely on you this week. Yeah, it's choosing you. You know, this week also you have some sort of choices or decision making uh, to do, and I feel like a lot of that the focus has to be on you. Okay, some of the choices or decisions that you have to make. Whether these relate to love, romance, career, um, or just, you know, general choices, decisions, commitments that you um, have going on, you have to make sure that your life in general is in balance, okay, and that you're not too consumed by one thing. And you have to make sure that whatever choice or commitment you commit to, you have to ensure that it is one that benefits you. It's one that, you know, is serving your highest good. It's one that is in alignment with who you are. And I feel like, especially coming off the heels of the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you know, start taking care of you, start prioritizing yourself. It's like an invitation to, to me, the cards seem to be pointing to some sort of area in your life that is out of balance or like you're not giving yourself enough attention to work through some sort of pain or work through some of the issues so you know don't overcommit yourself to one area or to you know a certain thing um, see if you can seek additional help if you need you know if you might feel more at ease and see if some of these choices or decisions that you are being invited to make, see if they are ones that can, ones that can and will, you know, positively affect you. We 
The Queen of Cups here, she represents some very strong psychic and intuitive abilities. And for some of you, I feel like your intuition is really is on point this week, more so than any other time. There's some sort of situation that you have going on in your life where your intuition has been really trying to communicate to you lately. It's been trying to send you a message. It's been trying to send you a warning. Something that I feel like is... This is in relation to some sort of area in your life that is causing you a lot of pain or that has affected you negatively. It could be the it could be a relationship, it may be, you know, pointing to a relationship that has ended a friendship. Um it's it represents a person or a situation or a scenario and I feel like your intuition has been trying to tell you something, has been trying to warn you, but maybe you've been ignoring it. Okay? Maybe you um, you just haven't been trusting your intuition enough. Maybe you feel like, you know, um, these intuitive associations that you're getting, maybe you're not letting it guide you. Maybe you're not trusting it. Maybe you're not even like sort of tuning in as well. You know what I mean? So I feel like your intuition this week more than any other time is really trying to tell you something is trying to communicate something to you about a certain person or a certain situation. Trust any intuitive associations that you get. Because ultimately it's going to guide you. It's going to guide you out of a sticky situation. It's it's there to help you. It's the, Your intuition is going to guide you. It's going to support you. Or it's it's going to give you the help that you might need. So definitely, and, and for some of you, it could also mean like if you're someone who's trying to develop or increase your psychic powers and abilities, this is a good card to get because this indicates an, you know, an increase in psychic powers, an increase in awareness. Um, but to me, it feels like your intuitive female, your intuitive feminine energy is helping you on a spiritual path or is trying to help you out with regards to a person or a situation don't ignore it okay do not ignore it because that's going to be um it's going to be very very helpful i feel like for some of you you're going to be hearing from a person a past person or a past energy someone whom gosh this person feels like they've fallen off your radar for um quite some time now um, you're going to hear from them unexpectedly. You're going to be really surprised. Maybe it's someone who ghosted you. Maybe it's someone who's ended things very abruptly with you. You could either be hearing a lot of information about this person. Like a friend could, you know, it, it may be someone like, for, for example, maybe someone has ghosted you and you've forgotten about this person. You guys went separate ways. And then a friend will suddenly bring up this person and will say, you know, remember so-and-so. They've bumped into so-and-so. And they'll just give you all this information about this person. And to me, it feels like something here suddenly clicks or something suddenly makes sense. Or you suddenly, you know, make sense of a situation, why they ghosted you or why things ended. You're receiving a lot of information, either through a friend or through your own, um, I just don't know how it happens to you. Maybe through your own research, maybe you accidentally jump online, you know, and... Maybe you've always had this person... Um, You've always had this person connected um, to your social media pages. But it feels like you're finding out a lot of information. They could post something, um, some really sudden news, like they may be getting engaged or married or, you know, having a baby. Or if this person reaching out to you directly. But it's a surprise. I feel like something that they say to you will surprise you. Maybe the surprise in itself is that you haven't heard from this person in so long. Maybe, you know, they're reaching out and they're wanting to reconcile, reconnect. Maybe they even want to offer you an apology of some sort. But it feels like you're hearing some news or information about a past energy. And, you know, once upon a time, this person meant um, a lot to you. This meant this person made a great, meant a great deal to you. Uh, maybe they still do. Maybe not so much. But I feel like whatever news or information you're receiving about them is really going to catch you by surprise. It could be a romantic energy, could be a friend, could be a colleague, someone who I feel like you were very close with back in the days. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. Bye.